In this video, we're going to look at how to create a workflow using SharePoint Designer. The first step after you have opened your SharePoint site with SharePoint Designer is to go to File, New, and select Workflow. This will bring up the Workflow Designer. We can go ahead and give a name to this workflow. We're going to call this one Project Approval. We're going to assign it to the Projects list. SharePoint list. Now you can see that this drop-down contains all of the lists that are available on this SharePoint site. Now we need to select what our workflow start options are going to be. By default, we will allow manual start. However, you can also automatically create a workflow and have it start when a new item is created. We're going to go ahead and select that one. Click Next to continue. Now we've got our workflow designer for step one. Here we're going to check a condition. There are a number of conditions that we can check against. In this case, we're going to compare a projects list field, and we're going to perform an action when we do that. We're going to set a field in the current item, and we're going to assign a to-do item. Now we need to set which field we want to check. As you click on that link, you can see that it has gone to SharePoint and picked out all of the columns that are available. In this case, we want to find the status column, which is here. Now the status column is a choice field, so if we click on the value, we see all of the choices that are available, and we actually want to select not started in this case. So our first condition is going to check if the status column is equal to not started. And if it is, these are the actions it's going to perform. It's going to set the status column to a value of waiting approval. And then it's going to assign a to-do item. Now the to-do item is going to bring up a new wizard. This wizard is going to be used to create a task. Once that task is completed, then the workflow can continue. The first task is going to be a budget review. And we'll just type in a description of please review the projected budget. We'll click on finish. Now we're going to choose which users. In this case, the Approvers SharePoint group, and we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to add a workflow step. This will be step two. We're going to set a new set of conditions. Again, we're going to compare the project's list field. We'll take a look at the status again. This time, we're going to be checking if the status is set to waiting for approval. Here, we're going to set a field in the current item. We'll update the status field. And in this case, we'll set it to in progress. And we'll send an email. Now, this brings up the email message dialog. And what we can do here is pre-format an email message to someone. In this case, we're going to click on the address book, and we're going to select the user who created this item. We'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see that it's setting it to the project list created by field. The subject, we can go ahead and click on the function button here. And we can take a look at the title. We'll put that in as the subject. And then we can type in a message. Now we can use the Add Lookup to Body button, and we can actually add columns from the current item. In this case, we'll select Title again, Budget, Starting Date, and the Ending Date. Now we can go ahead and click OK. See, it will set the status to In Progress and then it will send an email to the person that created the workflow. 
it is possible for us to create a branch which would basically be executed if the status was not waiting for approval we could check the project's list field and in this case we could actually take a look at the approval status and check to see if it was set to rejected if it were rejected we could send a different email in this case we could send it again to the user who created the current item get the title and put it into the subject and we could format a different message now we can add a look up to the body and again we can take a look and put in the approver comments directly into the email and actually what we want to do here as you can see we can move this branch down because what we actually want to check is first if the approval status is set to rejected and then we'd like to send the rejection email however if it has not been rejected then we want to continue with the workflow now we'll go ahead and click finish and you can see that it's saving the workflow definition and those are the steps that are required to create a workflow with SharePoint Designer.